Boys, the new Zoe update added back a ton of old updates, and I'm gonna showcase them today. Let's do this. So first up, the Black Market Auction is back. As you can see, you can get weapons like Scythe of the Pumpkin and Black Key Sword by bidding on them. And this is super useful, because these weapons are no longer obtainable in the game except through the Black Market Auction. They've also added back the Ani Resurrection event to the game. And as you can see, there's entirely new items and quests for this Ani Resurrection quest line. So basically, it's gonna work a little bit differently this time around in terms of how the quest line works. Essentially, you have to collect individual pieces, and then once you collect all of them, you get this. This is the Ani Resurrection. It's a katana skin, and it's got eyes all over the handle, and it's a combination of every part that you've gathered. Definitely a really cool skin. I love the particles that come off the handle, and it's just a really cool look for a weapon skin. Definitely really interesting. And boys, you might have seen me using this at the start of the video, but this is the Feather Scythe. This is this week's Daily Wheel exclusive. They've also added this Kraken kill effect, as you can see here. You get like lifted up into the water and then this octopus comes up and it takes you underwater. Honestly, a really cool kill effect. Additionally, the golden Kisuru now has custom swinging animations, which looks so cool. It's almost like crowbar. It looks really nice. And my apologies to all of you who have wind cutter, but it is now nerfed. It doesn't swing as fast anymore, but its animations are still here and it's still really cool. If I missed anything, let me know in the comments of this video and I'll add it to a pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Peace.